So to continue with our notes from 8.5, uh, subtraction like division is always going to be a little trickier than multiplication or addition. You know, you know that from what, like second grade. Um, so if you see a subtraction sign in the middle, again, we're going to have to get a common denominator. Okay. So to start with, we're going to factor because we need to see what x squared minus 4x plus 3 and 2x minus 2 have in common. And it's not obvious until you factor it out. So when I factor the denominators, on the left I get 2 times x minus 1 because 2 times x is 2x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, minus negative 2x minus 1. And let's see here, I need two things that multiply to 3, so I know that's going to be a 3 and a 1. And I need them to add to negative 4, so they have to both be minus signs. Because a negative 3 plus a negative 1 gives me a negative 4, minus 3 times minus 1 gives me a positive 3. I see now that they do have something in common, they have an x minus 1 in common. However, to have a common denominator, they both have to have what the other one has. So I need a least common multiple here. Let's see. To get that, well, they both need a 2, so I'll put a 2 in the denominator of both. Now, to give them both a 2, I'm going to have to multiply this fraction by 2 on top and bottom. Notice I put parentheses around the top of this fraction because I'm going to have to distribute that 2 into both uh, parts of this bi uh, binomial. Okay, so they both have a 2. They already both have an x minus 1, so that's done. I kind of like to put little dots underneath these when I've taken care of them. They help remind me that I've got everything. And then I see that this one has an x minus 3, so that means that they both have to have an x minus 3. Okay. If they both have to have x minus 3 and this one doesn't have it yet, then I have to multiply top and bottom by x minus 3. Please make sure that you're not being lazy. You have to write it on top and on bottom. If you don't, it's not mathematically correct and you will get marked down points. Now I have a common denominator, so I need to simplify the tops. Up here, clearly, since I have two binomials multiplied to each other, I'm going to have to FOIL. So x times x is x squared. Let's see, I get a minus 3x and a plus 2. Minus 3 and plus 2, well, that's a minus x. Minus 3 times 2 is a minus 6. Okay. Here, I'm going to distribute the 2 in, so I'm going to get a minus 4x and a minus 2, because 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 1 is 2. Notice now that I have a minus sign in front of this entire fraction. What that is going to do, this minus sign, is making the top of this fraction, it's like multiplying by a negative 1. Okay. So I'm going to put parentheses around this, and I'm going to distribute the negative to both pieces of information in that binomial. So now I'm going to have x squared minus x minus 6. Now, since I'm distributing the negative, a minus and a minus make a plus 4x, and a minus and a minus make a plus 2. And all of this is over my common denominator, 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Now, I'm going to combine like terms. I only have an x squared. A minus x and a plus 4 give me a plus 3x. A minus 6 and a plus 2 give me a minus 4. And then I have 2 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Okay. Let's see, does this factor at all? Two things that multiply to 4 that add to a plus 3. Well, it could be 4 and 1. Um, let's see, does it factor? So if I multiplied it, or if I factored it out, it would be an x and an x. It would have to be a 4 and a 1. Let's see, which one would have to be a positive, which one would have to be a negative? It would have to be a plus 4, right, to get a plus 3 there, and a minus 1. Okay. So if you can factor it, you should. And now notice that I have an x minus 1 on top and on bottom. So that means I can cancel those out, and all I have really is x plus 4 over 2 times x minus 3. Feel free to put parentheses if you want on top. They're not necessary. Okay. Again, to check my answer and make sure I got the right thing, I can plug it in my graphing calculator and check. So you can graph one is y1, the other is y2, and make sure that they have the same xy table.